We heard AC Moore's going out of business. Right. I bet they won't close before Christmas, but I bet they will be throwing stuff away eventually. I'm sure they'll be having major sales, too, of course. Maybe they'll sell all their stuff off to Michael's. Those dumpsters were empty. Well, we have to find dumpsters that aren't empty. But something's leading us here. The universe is leading us. The power of Lord the Jesus call. is bringing us to the dumpster. <sighs> okay. He has a dumpster. Got some Popeye's trash. We have some leaves. Packaging. I don't know what store this is. I hope it's not the AC Moore, because I expect better. Uh, that looks like balloons. Mylar balloons. Yes, it is. A bunch of balloons and ribbon. Oh, this is Party City, I think, because there is a Party City here, too. Party City! Why isn't there anything good in this bag for Frugal Mummy? I guess if I needed ribbon, I could salvage some of this ribbon. Let me just get out my Bowie knife and cut some of this ribbon. Got a lot of red, we got a lot of white. Oh my god, this is a lot of ribbon. All right, look, I have a bunch of ribbon. That's worth pulling off the highway for. Okay, let me jam it in my coat pocket. Do you think anybody would notice that? Now I'm motivated. Now I'm super energized by the ribbon. All right, now let's look at this bag. It might have nothing in it but this one little plastic candy cane Christmas decoration. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, hold on, look. Look at that, there's a whole bunch of them. Holy la 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 la. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at all these little candy canes. They're plastic. I got a whole bunch of plastic candy cane Christmas decorations. I love them. And with me, with me, they can fulfill their Christmas destiny. Look, Daddy, I got candy cane Christmas decorations. Cool. And a pocket full of ribbon. Oh, what's yeah, this, what's AC this? More. You think we this is AC Moore? Yeah, we have been here. You can get out. All right, let me get out. Ugh. Frugal Mommy jumps out of the moving car and breaks her ankle. What are these on top? What are these? Frames? Oh, broken glass. A lot of broken glass. Well, that's kind of a shame and kind of dangerous and scary. Oh, look, though. Look, 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 look. In this shopping cart they've thrown away, we have some, um, uh, you know what I'm saying, canvases for painting. And it doesn't matter that it's got green paint on it because we would put paint over that. Look at that. Free canvases. I mean, when you have seven-year-olds who like to paint, you know, they can cover over the green. AC Moore is obviously trying to damage its stuff, either because they just don't want you to have it or probably more because they don't want you to pull it out of the dumpster and then try to return it for money inside the store. All right, now look at this. This is a picture frame. It's got the green paint on it, but you could obviously just paint that white again. The glass is broken, but you could put a little Christmassy picture in here without the glass, and we could just paint that frame. Of course, the frame is kind of dinged up, but I could put glitter on it to cover the dings. Oh, I've got a project. I have got a project now. Don't need this super scary sharp piece of glass, though. There's a bed back here and a giant canvas. Dwayne, there's a huge canvas on top of the bed. Why is there a bed back here? What are you finding? Oh, hold, oh, oh yes, baby, yes. Yeah, woo, canvases, woo, woo. This giant canvas, I mean, this is huge, people. This is huge. It's as big as me. Well, no, it's not. It's 48 inches by 48 inches. That's four feet, and I am taller than four feet. And you know what? I actually got some new paints for the girls for Christmas. New paints. So this was obviously meant to be. <gasps> look at Daddy, look at Daddy. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. Oh, my God. Did you slip, honey? Oh, God. I don't know. Did I, did I slip? Where's the foothold? It's up a little higher. That was a good one. Daddy, look at this canvas. It's four feet by four feet and totally wrapped in plastic. That's worth dying falling into a dumpster. Five more. Five more. Oh, it's so cool. What's that? Ribbon with balloon on it. Balloon. Ribbon with balloon. Or balloons. I love my kids' artwork. I would rather have, oh, more to balloon ribbon. I would rather have my kids' artwork up on the walls than anything. Do you want to reenact your slip and fall again so I can get it from this angle? I'm 
having a panic attack. <laughs> You're having a panic attack? You need some anxiety medication? Let's take a look at how Frugal Daddy's got his little feet propped up there. <sighs> well, they cut the stems off the fake flowers. We just use the flowers and we'll glue them onto a big hat for you to wear. Yeah. Or not. Oh. Did you do it again? Yeah, maybe. Hold on, I'm falling in. It's got little lanterns in it. They sprayed them green, but we could spray paint them black again. Look. Oh, they got some broken glass, but... I know, but if... That's okay. I know. We can... Maybe with enough of them, we'll have a couple that have full sets of intact glass. And I don't really like the brushed, fake copper look anyway, so I would rather spray paint these shiny black. We have found pet food here before, but I think now they're in the habit of ripping the bags open and dumping it. You see it on top. What do you see? Oh, uh, pet food ripped too. open pet food, yeah. yeah. Let's see if we can salvage anything. Oh, look at this. There's some left in the bag. Oh, it's kitty cat food, too. Look, it's on top of this nice, clean box. It's nice they gave us a plastic bag here to catch some of this fancy cat food. Look at that. It's fancy cat food too. Oh, it even says kitten on it. It's kitten food. There's a big bag of clothing here and a brown wicker chair. So. So, so, so. This just looks like somebody's personal clothing they threw away. There's some Uggs boots there. There's real Uggs boots and a purse. You know what else? I think somebody threw away some clothing here that we could donate, but there's some Uggs boots in here. Look at this. These are divers. Ooh, I'm falling. These are um, divers. Those are sticks that they leave for divers? No, more divers have left here. You think? Well, what would you do with it? Here, help what me. You do? You grab your wicker okay. chair. That's so weird to find in a store's dumpster. I wonder what size that Ugg boot is. And how would you clean the inside of an Ugg boot that's been worn by somebody else? Just spray Lysol in it and then fluff the fur? I don't know. We don't have room for a chair right now. Yeah, we definitely don't have room in the car for the chair right now. Just shove this in. Just shove. Just keep pushing this until it's in. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave the bag like that, kind of hanging out of the back of the car. Did you find a bag? Yes, Not you did. Oh. Bag. Bubble wrap that's bag. Clock bag right oh, that's there. nice. This is the uh, different PetSmart dumpster. And I see some dog food. You see the Royal Canine Daddy? Mm -hmm. And then that other bag, the uh, blue. I wonder if I climb up, if I can reach it. Should I just climb in and get it? All right. Oh, this is a high one to get over. It's empty. Ooh, I sank right down. This has food in it. Or hay. Is it hay? It's hay for like a guinea pig or something? Yeah, it is. This is kind of a high dumpster to climb out of. I can do it, though. I can do it. <laughs> yes, let me climb on your shoulders, and then you carry me to safety. Oh, I'm not going to miss this. I could, climb. I could climb under the hood of the car. Pretty good, huh? Pretty impressive. All right, this is the Panera dumpster. We haven't been here in a while. I feel like that's a bag of bread down there, though. I feel like that's a bag of bread. Yeah, that's a bag of bread. That has huge loaves of bread in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm taking this. Oh, yeah, I am. I am. All right, hold on, everybody. Just hold your horses. All right. I went in, these are the three bags of bread I pulled out. Frugal Daddy's trying to make room in the back of the car for them. Oh my God. I told you it was heavy. This is unbelievable. I was struggling to get it out and I was all like, Frugal Daddy, How help me. With the, um, with the bowls. I know, and then you, I know. Get these things. Look at these giant baguettes, I know. Holy this Moses. is pretty cool because we haven't done Panera in quite a while. We just happened to be passing by. So I was like, well, 
when you're passing by, you have to check. So I climbed up there and my foot got stuck. And then I leaned, leaned my body over the edge and reached way down. And then I used the weight of my body like it was a leverage pivoting kind of a thing. I grabbed the bag and then the, my enormous body weight flipped back so the bread came out. Isn't that clever, Daddy? Oh was, my God, I, I... I know, I'm psyched. I want to just go home and eat about like, six it's loaves like of bread. the lottery. I know, the bread lottery. It wasn't a million dollars, but it was at least 150. Worth of bread. Yeah. Okay, so here we go with the dumpster haul from the AC Moore dumpster. All of these painting canvases, we have five of this size, whatever this is. We have two full packs, five each of this size, which says 16 by 20. We have a few other smaller ones floating around too because the kids have already started painting on them. Then we have this gigantic one that's four feet by four feet. Let me show you how big it is. I'll stand by it. See, that's how big it is. I'm five foot six. It's huge. What do you think we should paint on it? I have ideas. We got all of these plastic candy cane ornaments, two rolls of the hot air balloon ribbon, which I think would be really good for birthday presents. All of this ribbon, I think there's more actually because I remember getting some pink. Probably don't need all the black ribbon, but anyway. Lots of the curling ribbon, which I'm gonna use oop, on our Christmas presents. I put it in this bag because uh, the cats were starting to chew on it and play with it, and I thought, I don't really want the kittens to choke to death on the ribbon, so. I'm gonna stash that away. This frame, remember this frame? We're gonna paint this in a minute. We're gonna make it beautiful. And the whole box of lanterns. Remember those? Oh, that one even has a light bulb in it. Wait, what is that? That's a whole different kind. There's four of this type and then just that one. Let's carefully get rid of the broken glass. Remember when Frugal Mommy was trying to take the broken glass out of the lantern and then she just cut her hand and there was blood pouring everywhere? <laughs> that was a good video. That one needs two more intact panes of glass. Right, so we need one pane for that. And we need one more pane for this one. And that's the weird little one. This one only has one good side plus the door. So we're gonna take this side glass out and put it in a different lantern. With this one, which has the front, but now three open sides, you could still use this. I'm thinking put in a little mini spider plant and it has its little foliage hanging out and you hang it up outside, like that would be really cute. A little lantern used as a little plant holder. Yes, yes it would be cute. Obviously I have to remove all the glass to paint it black because we have a, we've got some high gloss black spray paint. So the glass is gonna come out anyway. But now, okay, so we have one that has all four, one for the plant that only has the front door, and two that have the front door, two sides, and an open back. That is where we are with the lanterns. Now, okay, I'll just hold this here while I talk about the pet store dumpster for visual interest. La la la. Okay, so pet store dumpster. We pulled out the two bags of guinea pig food, and I basically have already given those to the squirrels, so I don't really have them to show you, but they seem happy. And then we got this other stuff from the other pet store dumpster. We got this partial bag of kitten food. We scooped some of it into this plastic bag, and there's still some in the original bag. And we got this dog probiotic supplement. Has anybody ever given this to their dogs? Is this a good thing? And from the Panera dumpster, we got these three huge bags of bread. This one is all French baguettes. And I'm thinking of making French bread pizza with this. I mean, not all of it right now. I mean, my oven's not even big enough for that, but my first immediate use of it, French bread pizza. This is bag number two, which was double bag. Double bagging is nice. So we have this super interesting round thing, and then a lot of these which are used uh, as the bread bowls for soup or chili. They cut the top out and hollow it out and then put the soup inside. And these are really 
quite a nice little blob of bread right there. I think these little bread bowls are whole grain sourdough. Here's the third bag of bread. I love that they double bag these. I mean, talk about keeping your garbage bread clean and safe. Huge loaves of bread here. Like This is a really big loaf of bread. Look at it compared to the size of a cat. It's a big loaf of bread. That looks like a really nice loaf of bread too. Wow. REI dumpster, which is a kind of a camping outdoorsy store, but this is not REI stuff. This is, you know what I think this is? You know what I think this is, Frugal Daddy? He's right over there. I think this is, the wife said, oh, I have all this stuff to donate, honey. Can you drop it off at the Salvation Army? And he dropped it off at the dumpster behind the mall. Because, clearly. All right, so let's go through this quickly. What do we have? Right off the bat, NHL hockey. Woohoo. Go Canadians. I mean, I just mean Canadians like hockey and the Russians. Go Russians. Not politically, I'm just saying they like hockey. Xbox One. Oh, it even has the thing in it. Yeah. Do we know of anybody who has an Xbox who she likes probably, hockey? She put it in there thinking it was going to get donated. He didn't even open it because he thought it was her stuff. And she and gave away his, his hockey game. Yeah, his hockey game. Yeah, that's what you get, bud. It was right on top. Alrighty, we've got a sweatshirt with white paint on it, which looks a lot like much of my wardrobe. Black with paint. A purple backpack. I'm glad we found this because we'll donate this. I like that. Some little girl would like that. Some little girl like Never little daddy. Would you like it? You want it? Yeah, for <laughs> little, my little girl. You wanted it for yourself and you know it. Alrighty, we have a mojo. India Pale Ale t-shirt. I'm thinking... Christmas, Christmas. Christmas. You're not supposed to say it. I'm saying it. Shh, don't even look. I don't know what this is. It says, over it. Over it. Like, hey, get over it. Do you know Fruit Daddy? Maybe I'm over it? I'm over it. I don't know. Ooh, a bra. Ooh, is that my size? Because, oh my God, I was just thinking I need new bras. I have like two bras. What happened to all my bras? Can't even remember the last time I bought a bra. What size is this? My sex blade on Frugal Mommy's size. You know, it's really padded. I'm gonna look really like when I put this on. I'll wash this too before I wear it. Yeah, I'm keeping some weird dumpster bra. Yeah, I am. It's in good shape. Made in Bangladesh. Oh, that's sad. That's gonna be some like child labor in some really sad little bra factory. It's a big purse. I mean, a big. Wait, what's the tag say? This is good for when you go to a buffet and you want to, you know, line it with baggies and put the extra food in. Uh, what does the tag say, asks Frugal daddy -o. I don't know, but it's got tassels. I don't know if there is a tag. It's got some frayed... Uh, Dan W. The brand is Dan W. Another... It's a hobo. It's a hobo? That's what they call 
This is called a hobo purse? Yeah, the other one. The, that one, the big one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, this one's also big. It's sort of scuffed up. The leatherette is scuffed up. This is an Aldo. Not an Aldi, an Aldo. It's got a rubber band in it. We have a lot of purses here. We have another big... Daddy will go through all these. He'll play with these later and look for the money and walk around the house, you know. This is what he does. I swear to God, he does this. He's like, puts them on, and then he's like, how do I look with my purse? He does, and the hand is up. He does this every time we find purses. He won't let me film it, but it's true. Every time? Every time. Oh, this is a nice one. This, the girls would love for playing dress up. It's beaded. I love things that are beaded. Oh, this is coach. I, mean, I can tell. I don't even have to look. I Because I had this purse. Another. Boy, this person had a lot of... There's money in this one. We have 11 cents, folks. We have found 11 cents. Somebody threw 11. This is real American money. Coinage. 11 cents. You never know when you're going to need that. I don't understand. You have a lot of purses and one Xbox game. Yeah. What's and this t-shirt. I don't know. Oh, this is a heavy one. There's a lot going on with this purse. They're all so smooshed. This has stuff in it. It's got to have stuff in it. Oh, it's got tissue paper in it. Did she never even use this? It still has the price tag. This was a $58 purse marked down to $29.99, which, as we all know, is $30. It's got the, you know, tissue paper in it. So she bought it on sale, has never used it, and is donating it. She was donating it until her husband just chucked it into the dumpster. <gasps> More money! Waka waka. What does that mean, waka waka? I just made that up. Yeah, I've never I got excited. That. We now have a quarter, three more pennies, two more dimes, and a nickel. That's 25, 50, 53 cents. 53 cents plus the 11 cents I already had. 53 plus 11. Oh. What is it, Daddy? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, 64. Yes. And... Uh, Oh, a little, oh, my dad used to have something like this. This was like my dad's man purse little pouch that he would use when he traveled so that he wouldn't get pickpocketed, he wouldn't have his wallet stolen, he wouldn't lose his passport. So, yeah, he had a little thing like this. It's dad's man pouch. Bombardier. I like the word bombardier. What the, the label? One, the one before it. I can see there's a... This big one? Yeah, that one there. It's Nine West. Nine West. Nine West. That's a Nine West. Nine West. A name brand I actually recognize. All right, there's another dime in here, so we're up to 74 cents. And, last but not least, the... Dropped it. Real Uggs boots. If it's backwards, the writing, it's not because they're fake Uggs. It's because the camera flips the image. Real Uggs boots. They look like my size. Let's see. Let me put my hand in. A mouse! Um, they feel pretty good. There's a little tear, but that's okay if they're your dumpster diving boots, even though pretty much all my shoes have become my dumpster diving shoes. Oh, look at that. USA 8. I knew it. Who's a size 8? Got me a new bra, got me some new dumpster diving boots. Let's it's spray some dumpster. Lysol in them to kill all the foot germs from whoever. I'm sure she didn't have germs. She obviously enjoyed purses. 74 cents, Uggs, and a bra. And Daddy gets a new t-shirt and lots of purses to play with. Crazy, huh? And here's batch number one of the French bread pizzas, which have been lovingly made with dumpster sauce and dumpster cheese. But the oregano, store-bought. Bye! Thanks for watching! Until we dive again!